Director Micah, it is a welcome news to know that the fire is out at that facility. It's a power plant that generates about 20% of Ukraine's power. Tonight in a new Instagram video, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is accusing the Russian military of purposely attacking the site. In the video, Zelensky says the very fact that Russia launched an attack at the plant is in itself an extremely dangerous act and could cause a potential catastrophe. The president also referred to the Chernobyl uh, disaster that we saw in 1986 in that post. Again, the fire has been extinguished and now international response teams are monitoring the situation in southeast Ukraine. Surveillance video captures the moments Russian shellings fall from the sky, striking the Zaporizhia nuclear plant in Ukraine, Europe's largest nuclear plant. The mayor of the city pleading with Russians Thursday to come to their senses and stop firing immediately. According to the site manager, one of six reactors caught fire. As Ukrainian firefighters tried to put out the flames, they were allegedly shot at by Russians. But eventually, crews were able to get in and put out the flames. White House officials are saying tonight they have no indication of elevated levels of radiation. Battles continue to brew in key cities like Kharkiv as Russia looks to gain control. This is the historical building in the center of Kharkiv, which was under heavy bombardment yesterday. Every building nearby is also destroyed. Port city of Kyrgyzstan still under Russian control. This video capturing tanks on the street. This video from Chernihiv showing the aftermath following Russian military strikes hitting a residential building killing at least 33. The United Nations report says that more than one million Ukrainians have fled to neighboring countries as others seek shelter, building bomb shelters and finding refuge in local theaters. We joke that this is a five-star hotel because we have a bomb shelter here and people don't have to go outside to the theater. The 40-mile Russian convoy headed towards Kyiv still stalled as Russian troops face fuel and food shortages. Despite the setback and Ukrainian resistance, Russian President Vladimir Putin on state television said Thursday the special military mission in Ukraine is going according to plan. I want to say that the special military operation is going strictly in accordance with the schedule according to the plan. All the goals are being successfully achieved. On Thursday, delegations from both Russia and Ukraine met in Belarus with no ceasefire agreement to show. However, both sides did agree on humanitarian corridors. Pleasant. President Volodymyr Zelensky said in a press conference earlier today to reporters that Ukraine is not a threat to Russia's security and is offering to sit down and negotiate himself with Putin, saying, quote, what are you afraid of? I do not bite. I am your neighbor. Again, stay with us. We'll keep you updated in the 11 o'clock hour as we continue to get the updates into our newsroom. Reporting live in the newsroom, Pedro Vera, KTLA 5 News. Pedro.